Welcome to Continue Token Capture Webinar. My name is Mikkel Reisbull. I'm Senior Product Specialist at Continue Software. Today, we'll review the creation and setup of users in Document Capture, both NAV users and web users. Before we really get started, let's see what we have on today's menu. Today's session is based on our demo portal that is available to all partners. We'll be using a NAV 2016 with Document Capture 405. Some columns and fact boxes have been adjusted to fit today's webinar. I have already made the basic setup of Document Capture and other areas within standard NAV. The most important subject is, of course, that we're going to create users in Docker Capture that already have a Windows login to the network. Later, I will give you a glimpse of some of the new features in Docker Capture 406. And as Christina told you in the introduction, we will go through the questions that you have submitted during the webinar. Those of you that already have worked with Document Capture probably have noticed that the user settings were changed in version 405. It is precisely here that we start today's webinar. Our user setup consists of three lists. Windows users, continue user list, and continue user setup. If you look into the user list, we see the ordinary NAV users created in the database and their assigned permission sets. When running the document capture setup wizard, permission sets will automatically be created that can be used for setting up the document capture user's NAV rights. When a user is created in NAV, the user is automatically created in the continued user list. If desired, both the name and email can be entered or modified here. Based on the continue user list, we choose who should be, the, be set up as approvers in the continue user setup. Please notice that the continue user list is a global table, which means that the continue user setup and continue user list are synchronized with both name and email through all companies in the database. Changing a user's address in one company automatically synchronizes the changes to other companies where the user has been set up. The setup, sorry, only rules for approval such as approval limit, document search, and which deal accounts to choose are set up in the continue user setup. This setup is specific. It is from this list that we export the users to the web portal. The setup of Document Capture is carried out by the menu item Continue User Setup located under Departments, Administration, Application Setup and Document Capture. Get started creating some users. I start by opening the continue user setup. And press new. When looking up in the field continue user ID, you see the list of the continue users. First, we are to create Bart Duncan. He has the initial speed D. I choose Bart's user and press OK. 
Then I choose a relevant purchaser code. And as you can see, both name and email address from the purchaser card is automatically transferred to the user setup. Because Bart is a manager, he is assigned unlimited purchase approval. Notice that Bart automatically obtains access to the web portal. This is because we in the Continue Online Setup have indicated that my company uses web approval. Now it's time for setting up Bart's employee, Linda Martin. I will choose Linda's user. Press OK. Then I choose the purchase code. Also LM Linda Martin. And I state that Linda has an approval limit of a thousand pounds. Because Linda has an approval limit, we need to specify a person who can approve the invoices that Linda cannot approve by herself. We therefore have to choose Bart, who is Linda's manager. This is done by entering Bart's username in the approval ID field. Now both users are ready to take advantage of document capture. Before Linda and Bart can log on to the web portal, we need to ask users to the website. When exporting the users to the web portal, a welcome email is automatically sent to the new users. Now, Let's open the portal and see that we can log on. Before logging on, I will send a couple of invoices for approval. The credentials we use for logging on to the web portal are defined by the website installation. If you use continueonline.com, the user logs on using his email address, like bd at demo.local, plus the user's Windows password. If the portal is installed locally, also called on-premise, the user must log in with their Windows username, in this case BD for Bart Duncan, plus the user's Windows password. I will log on with Bart's username and as you can see Bart has access to approving his invoices. Via the setup, we can help users getting a better overview on the web portal when approving the invoices. This is done by creating and assigning one or more user lists to the approver's user setup. Let's create two web user lists. Creating a web user list is done by opening the menu item Web User List under Administration, Application Setup, Document Capture. I choose to create a new list. The first list is a list of GL accounts. I'll name it Bart. In the field number of items, I'll do a quick drill down.
Here I choose edit list. And then I can either add the accounts by entering the account numbers or drill down and select the desired accounts on the GL account list. I'm going to choose the accounts from 8200. to A390 and press OK to return. Then I create another web user list containing selected project codes. Choose the type dimension value and the relevant dimension code. In this case, I choose project. The list must have a name. I will name it false one. As with the creation of the GL account list, I'll drill down, press edit list, and choose the value that I want the list to contain. Close the list by pressing OK. Since it is part that can do the accounting via the web portal, we must add the two web user list to his user setup. I open Bart's user setup and add the two web user lists. The account list code is Bart and the project list code. This one, this. Remember to enable that Bart can edit the purchase line. So let's have a look at the website. And then you can see that the changes in the setup is already active. The last part in today's walkthrough of setting up users is addressing how to set up approval sharing. Under the menu item approval sharing, you set up rules for who can approve other purchase documents. The setup can be configured as a permanent sharing or as an out of office sharing. If the sharing is set to normal, this would be a permanent sharing. I create a new set sharing because Bart has stated that when he's not present, Linda is to approve his documents. Therefore, we set up Bart as the owner of the document to share his approval to Linda. The sharing should only apply in cases where Bart is absent. Why choose the sharing type out of office? And I'd fill out the valid form and valid two date fields with appropriate values. I choose to date state. And answer yes. There we are. Now we we'll log on as Linda. We'll quickly discover that you can now approve large documents. This was a review of the user settings in Docker Capture version 405. Before we move over to the questions, I'll be spending a moment talking about Docker Capture 406. The upcoming version of Docker Capture contains many new features. 
I will briefly highlight two changes affecting the user setup. The first change is that the web user list can be named with both letters and numbers. The other new feature in Dog and Capture 406 is that the administrator can determine who should receive the welcome mail. The administrator is also able to resend welcome mail to selected users. We expect to release Dog and Capture 406 around mid-May 2016. So, what have we been through today? First, we examined the various user lists and created two new users. We looking at the NAV user list, the Continue user list, and the Continue user setup. We have set up the users and assigned logins to the web portal. Later on, we set up a sharing of approval between BART and Linda and we took a brief look at some of the new features in 406.